The settings page displays the basics of the branding of your connector. It allows you to control how your connector looks when it appears in the catalog. The connector name is the name of the service to which you're connecting as you want it to appear in the workflows catalog, for example, Calendly, Slack, or Okta. The key field is auto-generated from the connector project name, also referred to as the folder name. This cannot be changed, so you should give some thought to the naming of your project. The description field should describe your connector at a high level. This information is included in the in-product catalog and is subject to the catalog search indexing. The icon is either a JPEG or PNG file, and generally the logo for the service in question. These files should be square and no larger than 3 megabytes. The card header field is a 3 or 6 character hexadecimal color representation for your connector and should include the hash or pound sign. The user documentation URL is a link to the documentation for your connector's help documentation. For ISVs wanting to list their connectors on the OIN catalog, this should be a publicly available web address hosted on a third-party domain. For customers, this can be an internal link to a Google Doc or SharePoint site as examples. The support email address should be for an individual or group responsible for answering questions and troubleshooting any issues found in the connector, like support at okta.com. And to the right, you can see a preview of your card showing what your connector will look like.